So guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, Utech Mini Digital Camera. It does HD photos and video. It also has voice for those videos, so in case you're wondering right off the back, you can record with it. Now, whether the quality is actually good or not for $15 is an entirely different story. So with that being said, this was bought at five below. As you can see, you can see some of the specs in the back. Um, it looks like it actually supports up to 32 gigabytes worth of memory, but the memory card inside of this actually has a, 100, a 256 gig inside of it or something like that. I forget the size. I'll show you guys in a moment, which, oh, here we go. One memory card, one USB, micro USB, which is useful if you have one of those blue microphones because, you know, I have one of them also. One digital camera, and that's basically it. So with that being said, let's unbox this bad boy together and see is it worth the asking price of $15. So let's not even waste time with this video. First things first, this is everything that comes inside of it. Now you'll have the actual camera itself. What actually it has a 200, I'm sorry, 256 gigabyte memory card, I believe. So it's 128, yep, 256 inside of it already installed. You don't have to uninstall this. Now, if you do see something on the screen, which I'm about to show you in a moment, where it's like, it looks like a little memory card with a red symbol, it means the card isn't fit into this properly. So you have to just push it out and push it back in. You do have your micro USB right here, in case anyone's wondering what that is. This is the old cables that are used for Blackberries, the PS3, and the um, Blue Yeti microphones, which I don't know why they still use that, that's weird. Anywho, let's put that to the side, and we have the instruction booklet right here. So we're actually gonna go over this together. So what I'm gonna go to do is keep this up here for a few seconds. For anyone that wants to screenshot this right here, just in case you have this camera, and let me zoom in right there, just in case you have the camera, there you are, there we go. Just screenshot the part that you need so you have your instructions. Uh, unfortunately, it only has about two, it says two hours of charging when the battery is low, but I've never actually used this camera to full completion or not, like to actually drain it, so I'm not too sure of the battery life, but more importantly, you're here for with the functionality. So let's turn this bad boy on. So first things first, you're gonna hold this power button on the side. Boom, pops up, says Uptech and it comes on practically right away. Sometimes it makes a little dinging noise depending on how long it's been off, or at least for the for initial setup. These are your options right here. This is menu, which I'm gonna click that for you right now. You have the option to lock this button right here, which is basically locking the orientation of the camera itself. If you press this button in once, it'll switch it over to night mode, and then it'll switch it back over to daytime mode. You do have the option of video and um, regular photos now the videos say that they're in 720p but if you look right here which is we have to go through this video share 720p it looks like the pictures is probably 1080 to uh 720 right here but it says video output so i'm not sure why it says 1080 when the camera itself actually does say 720 but we're going to go through some options right now so let me just tap the menu there you go. So that's the three megapixel camera for photos. You tap menu again, that puts it over here. Oh, looks like this is actual photos that are currently on the camera. It looks like a video, as a matter of fact. Let's click it again, and it's back to video again. So that's how you switch between the modes. If you click this up and down, this is, see that right there? That little microphone feature? That means when you do video, the it won't no sound will come out of the camera itself that so this does actually have volume and it has a, a speaker inside of it so it can record sound keep in mind that it's only for video that, that obviously doesn't work for still pictures I, I shouldn't have to explain that but you know still pictures don't have sound anyway right here this is the menu button so it gives you the option of 1080p for the uh, video output so it looks like it does have 1080p but i i'm assuming you can probably change that i don't know why you would want to though uh, Timestamps are on, motion detect, I have that off, three minute video timers, you can change these settings, video record on. If you press this menu again, it goes to setup. So you can actually change the format. Uh, my language is English, screen saver off, auto off in three minutes if you leave it on. You have 50 hertz light frequency. Uh, um, update, next menu, USB disk drive, view. Okay, so pretty simplistic if we're being completely honest here. Not much to really say. 
out so let me see if i can change that resolution for you guys nope so it just it just stays at 1080p it looks like that is how it looks the functionality seems pretty normal if you ask me let me just take a look at the camera so you guys can see it you do have the mount right here so if you have a camera mount you can plug this in it'll sit like you know it's weird hold on so the what is going on here so wait a minute this is the camera mount but this is how you hold the camera because it's sitting like this that is odd maybe i'm not a camera guy so I, I would assume the mount would be on the bottom but it looks like the mount is up top you do also have the reset button the micro usb charger is on top along with the mount and that is pretty much it so let's just go over just a couple more functionality things before we get to the nitty gritty uh it says four and six is press the navigate menu okay so we pretty much have everything that we have right now they're pretty bare bones generic <laughs> i said generic let's go over to the video and photo mode and i'm going to take some and show you guys in real time after i record some videos so basically a slideshow of how this is going to be if you decide to use this as a professional camera all right guys so this is the camera footage that i did take um, fortunately, I wasn't able to get any video footage because the camera was not working for the video for whatever reason. This is a cheaper product, so please be aware of that. But I'm going to click over right now and show you some of the photo quality. Now, keep in mind, it's only a 3 megapixel camera. And I would assume that this is from back in the day before cameras actually look nice. So right here, here's one of the pictures. I have a just a couple of them to show you. Go ahead and click on this right here. So I took this from the bridge where I work is looking down at Aphen Market so you can see the people. I wanted to capture the people so you can see the high quality figures. Everything looks like a PS1, honestly, it's like a PS2 game, if we're being honest here. Um, this is the second photo right here, taking pictures of people moving. This is the dock right here that leads into the building, things like that. Um, right here, again, you can't see any of the signs. Even if there were things on a wall, like a uh, I want to just say, what are they called? Poster boards and, and whatnot. Signs leading to certain departments. It, it just did not do a good job of differentiating what was what word from word. It looks like if you were going for an eye test and you needed bifocals, that's how bad the writing was, if we're being honest here. Uh, click over here, this is the parking garage. You can see this, they won't fix that, but this part that goes around in a loop I mean, you can definitely tell that everything is here. It's like if someone was to see these photos, they would know immediately where I took them. The problem is that the clarity is just not good. And, and just so you know, these photos are not stretched out. I know some of you think maybe it needs to be in the original format. That's not the case. They're not stretched out at all. We have this over here. I decided to say, hey, let me take a picture of a side of a building. Let's get some light in this photo. Maybe it's a lighting issue. No, if you look at the sky over here, this is about I'm trying to think, what time of the morning, day was this? Uh, it says the, the, the pictures, let me see, 16.50, so minus 12. Wait, is that how you do it, military time? Yeah, anything after 12 o'clock is, is uh, the afternoon. So 16.4, okay, so it is the afternoon, obviously. And to be honest, I don't think that this uh, is, is right because it says 6.22. <laughs> This isn't right. The time isn't right on this. I'm like, I actually took these around three o'clock or so. I was on my way out of the job when I was leaving when I took this photo or I took multiple photos and I'm and I'm 100 percent positive this, this this time is wrong. So the clock had the wrong time. It even says three months ago on this timestamp. It wasn't three months ago. Uh, trust me, it wasn't. It was yesterday. A matter of fact, it was uh, the 22nd when I actually did the photos itself. Uh, we have these right here side of the building. So like, look at this, This the quality is just God awful for the camera. And again, I understand it is three megapixels, but you can't make out anything. You can't make out people's faces. You can't make out car models really. You can see the stop sign and certain things. You know what it is by looking at it, but that's it. And the only reason you can see these letters is because it, it's faded away, but you know, it's a right turn only. It's the only reason you can tell. So. With that being said, you see the camera quality, um, even though I wasn't able to get you guys a video, and I want to explain that on the next part. It's not worth $15, depending on who it is that you're you're trying to sell this to. I mean, if you want to just give them a quick camera and be like, here you go, here's the camera, take some photos, that's one thing, but the quality is just not there. So let me get the glare out of this real fast. 
There we go. So the question is, is this worth $15? Um, to be honest, I'm gonna say that's a big fat no. The reason being, if you notice in the video, I said that it does video and photos. The problem I had with this, even when I followed the instructions, is that you take the okay for under my understanding to once the SD card is inserted properly to do a recording. It did not record for whatever reason. I tried different ways. I held the button to see if it worked. It looked like it was trying to record. The, the numbers would turn red. And then all of a sudden, it just wouldn't record. Though in photo mode, it did allow me to basically take photos without a problem, which is what you guys saw a moment ago. In addition to that, I know mine looks like it actually has some cosmetic damage to it shipped that way. I did actually peel back the plastic right here, and um, this was still here. So at first I thought it was a plastic, so it's probably just a defective ship item. Now I'm not saying that it doesn't record, but mine had problems doing so. So I'm gonna go ahead and say no. This is not a good purchase, primarily because the resolution just doesn't look that good. It reminds me of those old cell phones from back in the day, like the Nokia flips and things like that. It's just not that good, you know what I mean? It's, it, it, I don't wanna keep stuttering, but I cannot consciously in good faith say that this is actually worth $15. To be honest, you can probably buy a camera for 20, 30 bucks online or Amazon that might have substantially better reviews. This reminds me of the cheap old fashioned MP3 players from back in the day where um, you would put an SD card slot inside of it and then plug it up to a computer to drop music. And when you press the up and down, you had to go to different folders like a file manager and that's all it had. This is not a quality product at all. Um, I'm sure some people will use this and say it's perfectly fine for them. And it's understandable. Again, we're all going to have different experiences. And I want to say that I feel like mine came with defects, but even without the defects and minus the video, the, the picture quality is honestly mediocre for being honest here. So yeah, that's it. Don't buy it. <laughs> anyway, like, and subscribe like always guys. And I will see y'all in the next video.